Chris Spiker for AV Nice. We're at the Antelope Valley Board of Trade Business Outlook Conference, the VIP event the night before the big event. John Ratzenberger. And you've been in the Antelope Valley before. Oh yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you filmed one of your episodes of uh, John Ratzenberger Made, Made in America here, yeah. And uh, actually, in, uh, not too long ago, I used to come out here with my uh, archery gear and uh, shoot around here. So what, you were chasing the elusive uh, jackalopes? The jack oh, I got several of them. Uh -huh. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this jacket is made from. No, it's not. Anyway, so uh, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm familiar with the Antelope Valley. Yeah. Well, welcome back. What What are you yeah. going to tell us tomorrow? What are we going to talk well, about? Well, I, I, uh, I I've been traveling the country now. Well, got to be 10, 15 years, talking about the fact that we're running out of people who know how to make things because we taken away shop courses from all the schools, right. and somehow kids don't learn at, at the knee of their parents or uncles or older people anymore about the basics, uh, auto mechanics. Now Steve Jobs, the reason he became Steve Jobs is because he fixed cars with his dad. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci was a farm boy. Uh, Thomas Edison used to hang around the shipyard. So all the great inventors that have moved mankind forward all tinkered as children and we've taken that away from them. And so that's very important because we will hit a crisis because the average age of people in the United States that know how to make things is 58 years old. So I talk about that, the reasons for it, and uh, some of the solutions. Do you think the, the STEM programs that we have that we're putting in the schools, science, technology, engineering, math, we're, we're trying to create our next uh, generation of engineers. Yeah, it'll, it, it's got to start before that. It starts when you're this big, now when you're this big. Once they get to high school, if they don't have knowledge, uh, hands-on knowledge of tools. See, when, when I was younger, and then you know, back in, I guess, the 60s, the 50s, <clears throat> when we went out to play, we were repairing our own bicycles, climbing trees, building right. tree houses. Right. But we were young. We were seven, eight years old. Right. And that's we got all the rudiments then. But you had access to a hammer and a saw. Sure did. And a vice and sure, a they, 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 it didn't. They didn't keep us away from that. Now it's it's kind of, you know, when children go out to play, they dress them up like hockey goalies. Like, like the world's going to fall. A lot apart. of protection. Too much. Yeah. And uh, we've we've done okay. We've got to this point. But uh, so there's a lot of factors that come into play. And uh, uh, social engineering that uh, that. You know, after the 60s, when they came into our uh, educational system, they started all this social engineering that, you know, this, this is the way it's going to be now. It's, we, common sense went out the window, and it's, it's starting to hurt us now. The solution. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you that tomorrow. Very good. Yes. Well, sure. thank you for accepting yeah. the, the Board of Trades invite. Not and at all. Thanks for coming to our Outlook Conference. Thank you. And we're going to put this in a, we're making something. It's a video, but we're making something in the AV. Yeah. AV Nice video with you in it. Good. And uh, we'll send it your direction. Good, yeah. And uh, I've got some cookies that Wally Amos gave me, so help yourself. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Yeah. Thank you. Take care.